All right, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Simplistic, and welcome back to another video. You see, I'm the type of guy that usually orders food online so it can be delivered straight to my house. Even though it triples my expenses every month and costs me a fortune, I still proceed to do it. Why, you might ask? Two words, lazy. -ness. Laziness is often considered detrimental and can lead to missed opportunities, unfulfilled potential, and hinder personal or professional growth. Productivity and effort are typically valued in different aspects of life, and excessive laziness may impede success or achievement. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. An entirely new compound. Phenomenal. However, it's essential to balance rest and work for overall well-being. Hey, nah, bro. Shut your d*** up, boy. You ain't ever even been in a position to talk like that. Nah, cut the cameras, bro. Stop filming. You heard what I said. Stop. Cut the... I am so very sorry. My apologies. It seems like we got some static on the air from another channel. Very weird. Well, anyway, long story short, I can't cook. Plain and simple. For the longest time, I've always depended on others to feed me and keep me alive. Whether it's a waiter, my mom, my girlfriend, and all the above. I am usually chilling, but it's time to put that to an end and take some responsibility for once. I am a grown man, bro. I shave, feed my pets when I wake up in the morning. And at night, I pay my taxes. I schedule my doctor appointments. I Today, I will begin my journey with cooking meals for myself to become a master chef. But more importantly, we'll be stepping out in the real world and go from the cheapest to the most expensive grocery store possible. My goal is to compare prices, quality, and experience. To mix it up and decide what type of dish to make, we have a wheel full of different cultures and we're gonna be spinning it and leaving it up to chance. And lastly, and most importantly, we have a $100 budget at every spot we go to. Together, we'll figure out what's the best bang for our buck. We are starting off with a childhood classic. We have the 99 cent store. Whenever I was short on cash growing up, walking home from school, this would be my go-to. But what type of cuisine are we looking for? All right, come on. Oh, American. I mean, since we are here in the USA, I'm accustomed to these type of meals. Instantly, what I think of is like a hot dog, a hamburger, something along those lines. I think I got this one in the bag. And before I go in there and cause the scene, I do have to say inflation has been hitting hard. There are items in there that cost $5 and up. Like, what is that, bro? Change the name at that point. Christmas is right around the corner, man. Feliz Navidad. My favorite time of year. I mean, it is a big jug of Sunny D, but still, false advertisement. When I get to the register, I'm gonna have to call them out. I'm looking for the buns and the meat at the same time. Pause. I believe it's in the frozen section. All beef burgers, 100% pure, ready to cook. And it comes out to around $9, not too bad. Since we do have some wiggle room with our cash, I'm gonna add in some side dishes, such as these cream cheese pepper bites. And it's only $1.19? That's a steal. You know, I'm a gamer at heart. I sweat a lot under my pits. And on top of that, it was very hard for me to get a girl when I was younger. So if we're keeping that OG mindset, we have to go with the Totino pizza rolls. So far, not too shabby, but let's keep it pushing. Even though this is super processed and can be considered fake, this cheese right here helped me through a lot of rough times. We're gonna get the pepper jack for a whopping $2.49. On the side, I am gonna be preparing a salad. So we're gonna cop some buttered lettuce for two bucks. I don't wanna get too fancy on them, but I am gonna dice up mixed mini peppers to add inside for another $2. Let's get a weekday forecast. Dinner together with me and you the viewers watching back home. I've never heard a single person that I've ever met in my life say that this is their favorite, but it's an American one, so I can't complain. A dollar and 49? Bro, why don't I start shopping here? People are pulling off life hacks while I'm over here spending thousands of dollars at other stores. What am I doing? And they got the Bulldog noodles, bro. Hey, this is insane that they have this here. I've been seeing a lot of this on TikTok and my girlfriend always makes this for me. Insane. Hunts ketchup for a dollar 49 and spicy brown morehouse mustard for 99 cents <clears throat> keeps getting heavier and heavier i don't know if i can handle it for much longer we pour both of them in here it will look like a vintage 50s diner i'm gonna cry code red mountain dew this stuff right here would rot my teeth in the best way possible whenever i was sniping kids heads off in modern warfare this would be the drink to fuel me 
With the type of concoction we're stirring up, we need original ruffles. And the ranch dip, come on. Warhead's extreme sour freezer pops for a little dessert. Now that's something I can get behind. Wow, they even have organic plant milk here. I didn't know they were getting bougie like that. Gentrification. Chunky blue cheese. It's light to me. Something small, $3. And with that being said, we have successfully completed our mission. I'm very curious what the grand total will come out to. I 1000% do have some extra dollars that I could spend. You know, if I wanted to go get some cups, some utensils, some plates, but I don't think we're gonna go too into detail and I'm just noticing right now, looks like someone got a little thirsty. Bro, who took a sip of this and put it back in here? <laughs> Was it you? You didn't do that? No. Oh, you're not a menace, huh? You know the people on TikTok that act like they're doing things fast, but in reality, they're just moving a lot? Do you think I stayed under $100 with all this? Under 50? Okay, that's what I was hoping for. $44.47. Here's the thing, you need to stick around because this price is definitely gonna shoot way up high as we move along throughout this video. Day slash night number one, I'm coming in with high spirits, some great energy. But real quick, I just wanna reveal something to you guys that you did not know. Welcome to my new humble abode. Everyone, trust me, it was a very long process, but we got the job done. Starting off with the living room, I had an interior designer come all the way from Italy to put this all together. Marble coffee table, some plans to add some green to the room, a beautiful 65 inch television, seating all around for all of my friends. And speaking of seating, we do have some office space to the back over here. Since all of my close ones are YouTubers or creators of some sort, I feel like I wanted to lay out somewhere where they can plan their videos beforehand. You have Mr. Beast right here. Faze Rug right there. Beautie Pie right here. Everywhere you turn, I wanted something to catch your eye. That's why we have so much artwork on the walls. Even down to the accent lighting that we had installed, this alone cost me around like $8,500. Next up, I bring you my in home movie theater. For any special occasion, a holiday, please feel free to come join me for a sleepover. A 120 inch along with a sound bar for the ultimate audio experience. This alone, I think it was like, $35,000, $40,000, and we're not done. Of course, me being a gamer at heart, I didn't wanna just focus on digital stuff such as a console or a computer. I wanted to go more physical. So I got an air hockey table, a shuffleboard, a pool table, and finally a ping pong table that overlooks my ginormous pool in the background. I don't wanna give you guys the full house tour just yet, but now let's get to work. We're about to use this kitchen for the very first time ever. For the overall aesthetic and the color tones, I had these implemented from some of the top chefs in the world. Guy Fieri, Gordon Ramsay, Nick DiGiovanni. All of them sent me the blueprints via text and I kinda just took ideas from all of them and here we are. So that all sounds amazing if it was true. I'm actually lying. You just got pranked. Everything that I just showed you was actually my community center, my apartment complex. We'll get there one day. But we have everything laid out for our 99 cent store meal. We have a lot to work with. One pro tip that I found out is to stay organized and also to clean up as you go. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. Ketchup, mustard, blue cheese for our salad. Boom. All right. I'm not trying to get too cocky, but I think this is gonna be a piece of cake. But as we move along through this video, I can only imagine it's going to get extremely difficult. The reason I believe that this will be relatively easy is because all I really have to do is cook these patties. That's about it. Everything else you just put together. This is the type of thing I would look forward to after every baseball game. If only I could teleport back to those times when everything was just so simple, but now it's just simplistic. Every life hack in the book from TikTok, I know. Technically, I don't need to go to school to learn this. Come on, bro, common sense. I really wanna dedicate this one to the staff at the Krusty Krab. The overall shape of this is pretty weird. Look at that. It looks like a cloud. Placing an idiot like me and putting me in a kitchen. The worst combo. The sides are scraping up and I don't know why. The evidence that was left over led us back to a local 99 cent store. This is where he proceeded to go in and buy patties for a cheese or hamburger of his choice, which then led him down a terrible path. It looks like he's gonna be facing up to 15 years behind bars. If I ended up in jail, I wouldn't be surprised, but let's check on it. Oh, wait, what the heck? Part of it legit fell off. 
kind of like me, makes me a little curious to know if the price really does matter because that's not supposed to happen. We got half a patty that's gonna have to do. Now it's kind of like Call of Duty create a class. You have to customize and put together the final product. Buns, boom. Let's pop these bad boys open. And just to add a little bit of elegance, let's fill these up. That does not look appealing, but that's definitely some mustard. A slab of processed cheese. It's like taking the screen protector off an iPhone. Same sort of vibe. These look super fresh. There's a lot of water on them. It looks very moist. So we're just gonna pick these off. Wow, it's all coming together. Really weird about things touching each other. So I'm not really happy about that pour. If you don't add chips to this, you're just kind of weird. Pour out some of our ruffles. Open up our dip. I am hyped to consume this. Okay, for the main entree. Mm-hmm. For spending so little to make this happen, it's not half bad. My routine when I was younger is waking up for something like this to be presented to me, then hopping straight on video games for the rest of the day. No cap, I really do tend to shock myself. I'm surprised at the fact that I was able to get this done. For the value, the taste, and all things considered, I'm gonna have to go ahead and rate this a four out of five star. Considering that this was all below 20 bucks and it filled me up, that's a W. Some people call it Target. Some people call it Target. I call it whatever I want. Me personally, I like to say it backwards. Teg rat. That's where we're at. I would say I know a thing or two. It's my mom's favorite place to get groceries. She is the 007, the Sherlock Holmes to finding deals and she passed that knowledge down to me. I'm kind of glad she's not here because if she was, she would probably cause World War IV for how hard she would go. Whoa, whoa, whoa relax. We can't get too ahead of ourselves. We gotta spin that wheel. Ooh, Mexican. This is perfecto, right up my alley. I'm half white, half Mexican, a part of the Latino community. This is deep in my roots, growing up in California where the culture is so heavy. Plus being an avid connoisseur for tacos, burritos, nachos, and everything above, what I'm gonna grab is something that I'd be down for it to be my last meal if I had to exit the earth right now. And that is street tacos, some nachos, and some rice and beans on the side. We definitely need some ground beef. This goes for $8. Not bad. Some Mexican styled classic cheese. $3 each, let's get two. This isn't a part of the, bro, I mean, it's. Nah, no. It's culturally correct. Nah, 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 we're not, we're not. Okay. I can tell we're in the right aisle. I'm seeing some salsas, some beans and rice. Ooh, Valentina. This is better than Tapatio. I don't care what anyone says. This one's a little hotter, yeah, okay. But this one has that flavor to it. Not everything needs to be spicy. I'm looking to have a good time. And if we're talking bang for your buck, look at the price comparison. $3.79 for this garbage or $1.69 for this beauty. I'm not gonna lie, I do like them both, but this is just my preference. I've met the man Nick DiGiovanni in person a few times. I've cooked for Gordon Ramsay. I would say I'm pretty credible when it comes to being a chef. With that being said, I am not gonna be cooking this from scratch. I'm lazy. Let's grab this one right here, 90 second Spanish styled rice with tomatoes and peppers. Ooh, all the seasoning and stuff that they added in here, gasoline. So we have six taco shells and six flour tortillas inside. Looks like a steal. Four dollars? Let's go. This one's for the biggest YouTuber in the world, Mr. Beans. We're gonna get the traditional style, the Rosaritas, for a dollar fifty-nine each. You know I had to double it. Yes, sir. I just had a genius idea pop in my mind and that's very rare. I'm gonna grab some tahine for three dollars and I'm gonna cut up some various fruit on the side and add this on top of it. Yo, look at the collection they put together. Okay, five dollars for a wide variety. That's worth it. For our nachos, the chips we're gonna grab is the Tostitos, the Cantina traditional yellow corn ones, my favorite. This is gonna hit for $5. And of course, we have to add some queso on top. I'm gonna get the big boy for $6.49. My horchata meter is going off right now, right there. It wouldn't be complete if we didn't make horchata. And with that being said, this is my last item for $5.30. I could say I put together something that I'm confident in. As our girl Kelly is scanning over here, the budget is looking good. Do you think I'm under 100? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. okay. We might have to put some stuff back. No cap, the only bad thing that I had to go through throughout this entire shopping extravaganza was this. Bro. Ooh. Let's get in the mood. Hola, soy Noah. And today, <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be chefing this up. I've never seen a stove top look like this. It's some advanced technology. This is where we're gonna throw on our ground beef for our tacos. This kit right here is a lifesaver and also a life changer. It's literally a perfect set of all the essentials. It's always a hard choice whether to be hard or to be soft. Tonight, we're hard. So as you can see in here, it's starting to have a little bit of sizzle. Now that it's starting to heat up to the right temperature, we're gonna add in our seasoning mix. Mmm. 
those spices. As long as I don't spot out any pink stuff like that, then we're in good hands. I'm really about to have everyone come out of their houses and be like, damn, what is that? Now we just add it into our shell one by one. Why is this actually valid? Look at them all stacked up against each other. Let's do a little taste test. Mmm. Okay. Ripped open our cheese and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on each of them. It'll melt a little bit inside as well. A little bit of chips on the side. Wow. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to be here forever, we're going to be a little bit more efficient and microwave our beans. We have a good sized portion. By the way, didn't have a can opener, so that's the result. Hit it with a sprinkle as well. And also simultaneously, we're going to throw in our rice. Popcorn, no, bro, relax, 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 relax. <laughs> bro, minute 30 to go. She. Presentation is key and I think I nailed it. I know your mouth is watering through the screen and I'm sorry. And then for a touch of sweetness, we left this in its original packaging. I used to eat this like candy out of my palm. Or chata, or do you guys know chata? If anyone knows chata down below, let me know. This definitely isn't the perfect drink. I forgot a couple key ingredients such as cinnamon, but it's okay. Mm. Mm. Just like I'm at a restaurant. This is some proud work right here. Mm. With everything combined, I'm gonna be very critical and give this a 3.5 stars. My ability and the quality of all the items I picked out, I would say that makes sense. Just for fun, I decided to throw this establishment in the mix because it's so advanced and interesting. We're at Amazon Fresh. In the recent years, I heard about this revolutionary futuristic supermarket where you don't have to pay for your items, sort of. They each contain a pretty high definition, large size tablet, as well as cameras and sensors built in. So each time that you place something inside, it'll automatically scan that and put that in your Amazon cart on the app. Let's make some magic happen. So, Start shopping, okay. Looks like I have to pull out my phone. I was just thinking if I brought my grandma here, she would probably freak out from how revolutionary the technology is. You gotta make that happen. Before I go officially hit the floor, we have to sign in. Start shopping. Here's my in-store code right here and we have to place it below. Have shopping bags or personal items, add them to the cart now. I believe that's where we come over here and grab these paper bags. And the reason for that is because the whole point is when you're done shopping, you're not supposed to go check out with an employee at the very end. You can freely leave and everything will be automatically charged. That is dope. I just noticed they have a Krispy Kreme in here. If you know me, you know I'm always down for a glazed donut. Can I just get one glazed donut? Thank you, bro. Can I also grab a hat from you as well? Yeah, you guys yeah. have these? Can I have this one? Yeah, go for it. No way. You can't tell me I don't look fly. Look at the shine on her. Damn, that was so good. But let's focus up. What exactly are we limited to? Let's get it. Ooh. Italian. Okay, we're turning Italiano. This should be quite easy. I've been to the country before. And on top of that, it's a common meal in my household. I love lasagnas, I love pizza, and I especially love pasta. And that is exactly what I'm gonna be putting together. Maybe a spaghetti, fettuccine alfredo. This place is massive, so we definitely have to explore. Let's begin from the ground up. Started from the bottom, and now we're here. It's pretty lit that if you're a Prime member, you get deals like this. It's like you're part of a special club, but you know, I actually don't need any pineapple right now, but we have to be on the lookout for some discounts. We must locate the noodles. We just got pointed to the Alexa machine, where if you go and ask it, it tells you where something is. Where's the pasta at? Find pasta at aisle three. How's your day going? Great, thanks for asking. Of course. It's always good to ask. You never know what people are going through, especially robots. I just noticed too, all the signs are electronic. It just shocked me. I shouldn't have touched it. There's so many options. We have angel hair, the classic spaghetti, jumbo shells, which I recently just tried with my girlfriend and oh my God, chef's kiss. They're really giant. You can stuff it with meat. Okay, pause. pause. You know what? Linguini, fettuccine, and a lot more eeny, meeny, miny, moes. Mosta chioli? Now they're just making them up. But my choice, I'm gonna grab the rigatoni. Let's just hope it works. There it is. Wait, what? I got a 10% off. It's only a dollar and 52 cents. We are chilling. I'm not trying to glaze or anything, but I recently just heard that Justin Bieber's personal favorite was the vodka sauce. Maybe not this one specifically, but he always gets it apparently. I'm definitely gonna have to try it. There we go. That came out to $8.79. And for anyone out there complaining like, oh my God, you're not gonna make it from scratch. No, but 
shut up. Hey, there's another one. Does it matter if I make something from scratch or not? It is healthier to prepare meals from scratch rather than using pre-made or processed foods. Cooking from scratch allows for better control over ingredient selection and portion control, leading to improved diet and nutrition. You just threw a whole bunch of nonsense at me talking about health. I'm already buff plastic. Yes, sir, you know I'm gonna need that oregano. <laughs> this is what's gonna add that touch of greatness. I can see it already. There we go. <laughs> that added $5.49. We're in need of some green and we're on the hunt for what Popeye used to upgrade and get big, spinach. You know when you're looking stupid in the aisle rubbing your fingers for a solid five, 10 minutes? Oh, we got it. A feeling that's comparable to Disneyland is when you're here and the water starts going. It truly is a sight to witness. Let's choose the one that's nice and wet. Yep. I'm quite curious how this will know the price because there's no barcode or anything. Search by name or code. Spinach. Boom. And we only got one. A dollar and 89 cents. Time to smile to the camera and say cheese because that's what we need. Parmesan will fit perfectly. Four dollars and 19 cents, one ingredient to go. I went to grab heavy whipping cream, but here's the problem. They didn't have it. This is detrimental and quite possibly could ruin my masterpiece. But you know what? We're not gonna think like that. Everything will work out. All right, no cap, this is kind of creepy. There's this machine where basically if you hover your palm over it, you could pay that way. I'm guessing it's the same thing that Elon's trying to do where they place a micro trip inside of your skin. I'm chilling off all that. So I'm walking through all the self-care, toothbrushes, deodorant, shampoo, and I have to just admire the aesthetic of everything being so bright. It's very eye-catching. Now that we're finished, we can just walk out. No questions asked. About to cross the finish line. Whoa. Processing, thank you. A receipt has been emailed to me. I could definitely see how people could prefer the traditional way, but me, I'm switching over. That was so easy. Bag secured, let me cook. You know, internally, I'm really starting to feel a huge switch and change within. I think I'm actually starting to get used to cooking all of my food, and also, I'm enjoying it. Let's fill up our pot. Hello? There we go. Tip to medium. Every single meal I attempted, I didn't look anything up online. It's all from memory. I think we just pour all of these in and just wait for it to bubble. I believe they're soft enough. Let's take it out. If I had a strainer, it would make things much easier, but I don't. They grew to be much bigger than I thought. This might be my new favorite pasta. Let's add in our sauce. For all the Italians watching right now, I am deeply sorry. Let's rip up some spinach and finally some oregano. Pat on the back to myself. That is borderline almost amazing. I ended up forgetting a beverage, so I'm gonna go with tap water. If I really wanted to bump that up to a five, I could have done a few extra steps, but I'm happy with it. I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that to shine like this in a matter of time I spent on some, okay, for real though, we are finally making our way up the rankings. We're here at Whole Foods. It is home to some of the bougiest moms you could possibly find and is very popular for being an environmentally friendly spot for specialized diets. Stop playing with me. Oh, 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 the wheel, it landed on Asian mix. I'm already pretty impressed from how clean everything looks. It just smells so fresh. So let me just calculate this all out. When we're talking Asian cuisine, there's so many subcategories we can get into. You got Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, Korean. You know, I could keep spinning all day, just like an apple keeps the doctor away. But I'm gonna go into creative mode and just grab everything that looks appealing and put it all together. Just like those YouTube comments, can we just appreciate the amount of effort that they put into this place? Just the setups alone make me a happy customer. Look at this. They even have a hot slash cold food bar. It's like I'm at Subway, bro. I would grab one of these, but I low-key want to make it a little bit harder. I feel like I've been taking the easy way out. Whatever I'm making from here is gonna be from scratch. I noticed something. I was looking to make this a little bit fancier and grab some caviar, but as you can see, that would literally drain my entire account. I'm gonna put this back, we gotta think smarter. Can I grab uh, two pieces of these? Yep. That looks so good. But how much does that come out to is the question. $16, it's not that bad. I kinda just grabbed that instinctively, not knowing what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm sure I can put this as a topping and it will be phenomenal. But overall, the quality of everything does make it pretty reasonable. They have all different types of assortments and sections for everything. I mean, just look behind me. Like, how many cheeses do you need? If you're just looking for something fast and to go, look at this. I can't even name what half the stuff is here. Ah, some white rice. 
for some thick thighs. We definitely need this. It's organic ramen noodles, grapefruit soup or stir fry for five bucks. And that goes hand in hand with some organic beef broth for $3.29. <laughs> God dang, look at the meat district, bro. <laughs> look at the marbling, look at that. Tofu is a main ingredient that we need for $3. I'm gonna be making a miso soup as well. For $10 combined, we're gonna grab tofu and some beef broth as well. Just look at these rainbow rolls. It has tuna, jazzberry rice, and mango tamari sauce included. You can kind of see what it looks like on the back. It doesn't look too appealing right now, but we're gonna change that. There's around eight pieces in here. It's $9. To finalize everything, we're gonna grab some egg rolls up top right here for $5. And then we're also gonna get some vegetable pot stickers for $9. And with that being said, we got ourselves some good eating. My intrusive thoughts are getting a hold of me right now. I just want to be more elegant. Like what happens when you step on a grape? It lets out a little wine. <laughs> Instead, we're going to settle for some Martinelli sparkling blush cider. And it won't have me spinning by the end of the night or throwing up or sweating. You know, I haven't really been like trying my hardest to stay within budget, but somehow I've been completing the task. I guess I just know how to shop. Overall total came out to $66.90 and I got everything that I needed. <coughs> Bro, what is that noise? All the way from my bedroom, we have my little kitten named Aiko. The reason for him being here is because his name actually means little love in Japanese. I thought it fit the theme. He's gonna be serving as my assistant for this. From when I first got him till now, look how big he's gotten, bro. It's unfair. I can confidently say that this is gonna be the most intricate one yet. Fill up one of our pans. Let's go ahead and add in our noodles, shall we? I prefer mine without the plastic. I don't know if you guys want it or not, it's up to you. We're gonna add in two of them. It's pretty sick how this is incorporated in almost every culture and the fact that it's been around for centuries. This is a lot of you guys in Fortnite, rice water. Now that we have that sorted, we're gonna add the lid on top and cover it just a tiny bit. We're on a good roll. Caught straight from the ocean. It's a beauty. You always gotta be careful when dealing with fish. Unfortunately, our special guest had to be put away. He was yapping a little too much, but it's kind of wild that he can digest this and be perfectly okay by eating it raw. Bro's built different. We are working with some top-notch products and I can definitely tell. And I mean, that's just rice, but it looks great. Now that we left the trio alone over there, let's get to microwaving. Two egg rolls and five dumplings. I have a lot of motion going on right now. Ah! Like that. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, it's getting dangerous. I absolutely love this grill. And if you look at that, it's really soaking it all up. These look ready to go. Oh, 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 it's overflowing. I'm scared for these. Oh, we're gonna run this from where it's at. We are not gonna add it to a bowl. Ooh. This has turned to quite the disaster. I've never attempted this, but we're gonna salvage it and recover. Oh yeah. You know, I'm pretty frightened at the thought of having a kid in the future because if they ask me to cook something for them, they're gonna be in trouble. We're gonna pour this over. It's a great addition to our rice. Voila. Finally, we're gonna boil our beef broth and that's gonna be our miso soup. That looks fantastic. Let's add in some tofu bits. If any of y'all can explain where this comes from and what this is, I'd be happy to know. I am accomplished and I earned it. Let's crack her open. Where do we start? Mistake me if I'm wrong, but I've heard if you slurp really loud in other countries, that's a sign of showing respect. Mm, let's hand break this pot sticker. Mm, crunchy. So far, these are my favorite. Let's take a slurp from our soup. Warms me up in the cold weather we've been having. And to conclude, cheers, my friends. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be possible, but to be honest, the majority of this could have been done a lot better. If we're basing it off of my concoction, two stars but if everything was done properly this is easily a five star meal and now the moment we have all been waiting for the fanciest of them all that is known to drain bank accounts we pulled up to air one the most expensive grocery store it has become super iconic in los angeles and has attracted some of the highest valued most famous celebrities they even have smoothies named after some of them like the Haley bieber that is over 25 dollars for one drink they claim to have the most organic freshest foods and ingredients around judging a book by its cover the exterior has seating all around with plants everywhere and it gives off a modern yet earthy sort of vibe 
absolutely stunning and gorgeous. This all sounds luxurious, but the main issue that the common human faces here is obviously the outrageous prices. With my small little budget, I will probably get eaten alive and laughed at, but it's fine. Before even getting close to the building, I already gave them an arm and a leg for the parking, and that alone ran me $15. Last but not least, what are you looking at, punk? You cannot make this up, vegan. This place was literally built for this category. Your boy lucked out. As I'm walking in, everything is so nicely packaged, very pristine. I put this little fit together. I tried looking as spiffy as possible. I'm just trying to fit in and look like I belong, to be honest. Since we are looking for a vegan cuisine, I'm looking for products that say grass-fed on them. That's how you can classify it. It looks like they have their own branded water for a whopping total of $6. I think I'll put this back and drink from the tap. It just doesn't stop at foods because they have high-end everything. Vitamins, candles, soaps, the list goes on and on. Clean, smooth, simple protein powder too. Hey, I need to shake the hand of the man or woman who created this place. They are making bank. I feel like I don't deserve to walk these floors. Plant-based ingredients infused with essential oils of lemon, jasmine, and bergamot. Vegan and free from parabens and dyes. And we're talking about dish soap. So into detail, that's wild. This right here just caught my eye. It's a Wagyu filet. Certified humane, non-GMO, gluten-free. It's a very small cut costing $50. But I love steak and I think it's worth it. Since that's half of our budget, we definitely have to be smarter going forward. Just behind me, they have a hot and cold food bar and everything looks like it slaps. Since the rule is that I can't get anything pre-made, I can't get anything from there. Just aside from the challenge, I definitely need to try what all the basic girls on Instagram be having on their story. And this doesn't count. All right, never mind. It looks like the YouTube gods didn't want me to get it. They apparently just closed, which sucks. <laughs> I just found the next best bet, a raw pink lemonade, and it's only $38. Only. I just realized in this video, I haven't been drinking anything with my meals or even considering it. Your boy is thirsty. <laughs> with only two items in my basket currently, with taxes, it comes out to $96. But hey, if the quality is valid, I'm okay with it. Even as I'm walking towards the checkout, they're tempting me with so much stuff that I just can't afford. Is that it right there? Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. I don't know if I should feel ashamed or accomplished, but I'm feeling both. All right, to conclude, it has all come down to this. This is our fifth and final meal. Damn, simplistic. Back at it again with the grill. Now that we're nearing the end and finishing up this challenge, I can confidently say I have fully learned to appreciate the art of food. And I mean, who knows, maybe I might give up DoorDash and Postmates soon. This journey has helped me overcome my fears and break out of my shell. And this guy is one proud and happy customer. But damn, here is the finished product. I might have overcooked it just a tiny bit. I like my steaks medium rare, but this one came out well done, which is still fine. We got our meat cut up into little pieces because I'm a five-year-old. The inside appears to be bright pink. Here's to a big chunk of my bank account. Interesting. It's quite chewy, very delicate, a bit tender. I guarantee from this moment on out, I will never spend as much as I did for this pink drink. And I'm not talking about Starbucks. I want to give a toast to everyone that has made it this far. Thank you for being by my side. Sadly, if I become a fiend, I'm going to go broke. To wrap things up, it exceeded its standards. I believe that the price definitely equals out to what I got. With what I paid anywhere else, I could have walked out with so much more. Whether you're a big baller or someone that prioritizes their groceries, this is your cup of tea. But for everyone else, not to fear, do not worry you're not missing out on any of the hype it's not like it's disneyland personally for the rating i'll give this a whopping five stars all around i would say it deserves it if you enjoy this video go ahead and drop a like subscribe down below even and get me to two million subscribers comment where you would go i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video